A five to one vote today. The Oakland City Council moving forward with a financial plan on the A's proposed waterfront stadium at the Howard Terminals. However, the team clearly not at all sure that this is a vote it is going to be able to back. Cronforce Teresa Stasio is live in the newsroom with details on why. Teresa? Oh, Catherine and Jonathan, what a day. A four hour meeting and so much hope weighing in on this. But in the end, no one seems to be happy, least of all the A's. It is big, it is bold, and it is so far still up in the air. These renderings of the A's proposed waterfront ballpark at Howard Terminal. Only still that, pretty pictures. Tuesday's proposal before the Oakland City Council is supposed to be a big deal, a pivotal play to knock it out of the ballpark. Yet that's not what happened. Oh, a vote pitched to council members did come down. And today's vote is a non-binding draft term sheet, right? Our vote today... It's not going to commit anyone to this project, but it will further uh, give us direction how we move forward with our Oakland values, with negotiations, negotiations as a city with the Oakland A's. We want to stress that, you know, voting yes on something that we don't agree with or we don't have consensus around is not an effective path forward. But the A's president didn't catch the ball. Instead, saying changes made have them walking off the field to re-examine the play, certainly not giving it a thumbs up. For example, some of the new terms agreed to by the council include a 35-year term agreement, a 25-year non-relocating agreement, and a 35% of the proposed housing. That now has to be affordable housing. We are very close in full agreement with the A's. I know that it was disappointing today that what was voted on by the council did not have full consensus from the team. But I assure you, we are very close. The primary difference is that Oakland is standing firm on community benefits. Is it set up about a return vote? Is it something that's just a, an open negotiation? I think we need to see where what was really voted on today. You know, we had never seen it. So I think we need to dig in and understand what are the pieces of the puzzle, what it says, who pays for what, and spend some time on that. And then once we have a better sense of that, once we talk to the league, understand even from the city, the timing of all this, you know, I think that's really important. When can we get a binding vote? Uh, then I think we'll have more information for the community and for all the stakeholders about next steps. Talk about next steps. Well, there is going to be an environmental impact report, and that's supposed to be in the fall. So then, therefore, there's supposed to be a big vote on that. But so many balls still up in the air about this. In the newsroom, Teresa Stasio, back to you guys.